which type of magnesium supplement is right for you. Since over 50% of people are now deficient in magnesium, magnesium supplements have become extremely popular for improving overall health. From reducing muscle cramps, twitches and nerve pain, to easing anxiety and improving sleep, and boosting the health of the heart, there's really no end to the benefits of getting enough magnesium to meet your requirements. However, there are so many different types of these supplements on the market, it can be very confusing on which one is best to take. In this video, I'll be explaining the best and worst types of magnesium to take as a supplement, and my recommendations on which types to take for your particular health issue. As always, this video is for educational purposes only, so please speak with your doctor before using magnesium and other mineral supplements. The first type I'd like to talk about is magnesium glycinate. This is the best form for relaxing tight muscles, spasms, twitches and reducing high blood pressure. This is a type of chelated magnesium that is bound to a glycine molecule. Similar to magnesium, glycine is also very calming and it boosts GABA, a relaxation chemical that relaxes the nervous system and the body. Together, these produce a very calming effect which can reduce stress, anxiety and also improve your sleep. It's also the easiest form of magnesium to absorb with around an 80% absorption rate, which is excellent. 2. Magnesium L-threonate This is a very powerful form which contains threonic acid that allows magnesium to cross the blood-brain barrier and better be absorbed into the brain itself. Studies show that this supplement increases the density of your brain cells and the synapses to improve your thinking, learning and memory. This makes it an excellent choice for students who are cramming for exams and those of you like myself which are trying to learn lots of new information. This version is also more potent than the glycinate for reducing anxiety, depression and mood swings and it's also been documented to help conditions like ADD, ADHD, dementia and Alzheimer's disease. 3. Magnesium Citrate You'll often find this type of magnesium in electrolyte powders and pills because it's very easily absorbed. It's very good for drawing water into the colon and relieving constipation. However, if you take too much of it, it can cause diarrhea and it may actually cause you to lose some of your minerals like magnesium, potassium and sodium. It's quite good for reducing migraines, headaches, mood swings and leg cramps at night but again, do be careful not to take too much or you will be running to the toilet. Number 4 is Magnesium Malate This type of magnesium is another great supplement for raising the overall magnesium levels of the body. This is actually bound to a natural substance called malic acid which is often found in fruits. Malic acid and the magnesium mineral itself helps the energy factories in your cells to generate energy at the proper rate. This is why it's often used to overcome problems like chronic fatigue syndrome, excessive tiredness, as it helps to get your energy levels back to normal. This is highly recommended for those with fibromyalgia and to reduce chronic pain since it rapidly lowers inflammation. Malic acid in this type also helps to bind and remove toxic metals from your body that shouldn't be there. 5. Magnesium Orotate Orotic acid in this form of supplement helps to deliver the magnesium ions more directly into your cells. This is why it's a more expensive type because it works at a much deeper level in repairing and regenerating DNA and RNA, the genetic material in your cells. This supplement may work faster to replenish the functions in the body that rely on magnesium, like cellular repair and muscle function. This type is recommended for those who wish to strengthen their heart, like athletes or those who have a cardiovascular condition like heart disease. 6. Magnesium Taurate This type is very good for people who work out regularly and they want to recover their muscles faster. 
The taurine in this works with the magnesium to clear out any waste in the muscle to calm down muscle tension. Also, if you're finding that your workout makes you feel a little stressed, edgy or irritated, this supplement helps to calm down the nervous system and relax you. It's also very good for controlling blood sugars for those with diabetes, obesity or PCOS. Please see my video titled 10 Amazing Benefits of Taurine to get more information about this. 7. Magnesium Chloride this is naturally found in sea salt and seaweed, but you can also get it as a supplement. This one's much cheaper and it's very easily absorbed and it generally boosts magnesium levels overall. The chloride molecules also help your stomach produce the right levels of hydrochloric acid and this helps you to digest and absorb your food, including vitamins, minerals, proteins, etc. This one is often recommended by doctors because it can help to reverse digestive problems like acid reflux, GERD and heartburn. And now we move on to number 8, Magnesium Ions. Now the green pigment that you find in plants like vegetables and leafy greens is called chlorophyll. This is actually the lifeblood of the plants and it has a very similar structure to haemoglobin in human blood. In the central molecule of this chlorophyll, you'll find magnesium ions, which are a very natural, pure source of magnesium. Therefore, eating lots of leafy greens can boost your magnesium intake naturally and also help to support the quality of your own blood. 9. The types of magnesium that you want to avoid one of the cheapest forms of magnesium available is magnesium oxide and this is often found in multivitamin supplements. Unfortunately, this is a very toxic, unhealthy form of magnesium which is actually produced by burning low quality elemental magnesium. It's very poorly absorbed at a rate of around 4% and it's very toxic if you take large amounts so I'd suggest avoiding it. You should also avoid magnesium glutamate and magnesium aspartate as these are bound to excitotoxins that will actually counteract any benefits from the magnesium itself. And number 10 is a little different, it's magnesium sulphate. Magnesium sulphate is a form that's naturally found in Epsom salts which you can use when you're soaking in the bath. Some people believe that this type penetrates through the skin and promotes deep muscle relaxation and stress relief. It's also believed to help detoxify harmful substances in the body through the skin. I personally would suggest avoid taking this internally as a supplement or otherwise as it's very toxic when ingested, just use it in your bath water. How much magnesium to take? Women require at least 270 milligrams of elemental magnesium per day, whilst men require at least 300 milligrams. No matter what supplement you choose, it's very important to read the labels and check for the elemental magnesium content in the figures. This will be a separate reading to the other acids that are found in your chosen product. It's best to make sure that you're getting at least 3 to 400 milligrams of elemental magnesium per day since you obviously won't absorb all of it. Many of the soils we grow our food in are now depleted of magnesium which is why so many people are now deficient. Sadly, a blood test can't really help you to check your magnesium levels since only 1% of it is stored in your blood. This is why it's so important to look at your symptoms and how you feel to determine if you think you need more of this mineral. To prevent any problems, I suggest taking a supplement of your choice but also getting as much magnesium from natural food sources as possible. These include mineral water, pumpkin seeds, dark leafy greens, mackerel, avocados and sunflower seeds amongst others. Eating these foods will also provide other nutrients and minerals that work with the magnesium to support the various processes of your body. Absorbing Magnesium Now, taking supplements can help you a lot, 
but you also need a good amount of vitamin D from the sunlight to absorb magnesium properly. You can get this by simply exposing your skin to the sunlight for 20 minutes a day or taking 250 micrograms of vitamin D3. You also need vitamin B6 so that your cells can absorb magnesium properly which you can get by simply eating fish. I also recommend avoiding things that deplete your magnesium stores such as refined grains, sugars, fructose, vegetable oils and all of the processed junk foods. And since blood tests are not a reliable way to check your magnesium levels, you absolutely have to rely on how you feel and the signs and symptoms that your body gives you. That being said, if you'd like to learn about the 12 strange signs that your body needs magnesium, tap on the video that I've put on the screen now and don't forget to subscribe for more health content. Thank you so much for watching, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.